We out here. Lane, Lane, what are we doing? Sorry about it. Hey yo. We're already on wax. We're going on an adventure, that's for sure. Oh. <laughs> right now, right now, that's Lane's Lane's mom. She was nice enough to pick me up from the airport. They're on the deuces. Yeah, the give deuces us the deuces. Like yeah, there we go. <laughs> Lane's got his arsenal. We've got the two Avellinos. Yeah, double got double spear gun. Avellino special touch today. Went and saw Avellino today. Oh nice. There we got all rigged up. Yeah. See, I got all my stuff in my sports suit here. And a backpack. And look what Lane has. <laughs> Freaking garbage bag. Right, it was full of uh, mildew. Oh my gosh. All right, making our way down to the beach. Got all the gear. Dude, what's up? What's up, man? Hey. Oh, good yeah. to see you, dude. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, man. It's been a while. So your travel's been going. Good, good, <laughs> good. I haven't even told every, anybody like what we're actually doing here. Well, if people have seen you, they um, know, they know, or like in the channel, they know they know what's in store, the boat. and it's it's out there. Look at that water, man. Begging, begging for me to get in there. <laughs> Love these dinghies, man. Look who it is. What's up, Adventure Man? Let's go. Jack Spear. What's up, man? Dude, were you sleeping? No, 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 I was editing, you're starting to. Nice. Making water, come on over, you guys coming over? Uh, I gotta drop this thing no, we have we're, a gonna, we're gonna paddleboard group over. All right, we're gonna give you guys a walk through this thing in just a minute after we uh, get settled in. And let you know what we're doing here and how we're, why we're here and all, all the good stuff. All right, you guys, so this is the deal. I'm out here in the Caribbean and I'm staying on my buddy Blake's sailboat. If you haven't seen him, he was on an original video like way back when, at the end of this video, I'll link that. Uh, but we were in the Bahamas, but he made it all the way here to the Virgin Islands. And he actually freaking went to Puerto Rico. He went all over the place. But this Dominican is Blake. Republic was fun. Yeah. Dominican Republic was a lot of fun. And uh, honestly, the whole trip was an, an extreme experience. And I actually met Venture Man Dan in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, that's and that actually brings so I'm here with Blake. He invited me on his Full boat again, right on his here. concrete boat. And then I found, I've been talking to Dan on YouTube. And if you haven't seen his channel, I'll link it down below. And um, and yeah, he does, he's on his sailboat also, sailing throughout the Caribbean. He has crazy plans and his boat is back there. I want to do a little walkthrough of his boat. And then we also got Lane. Hello. He's been in a few of my videos. I met him originally here in, in the Virgin Islands, uh, just randomly. But yeah, we, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some adventuring. We're gonna do a ton of diving. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a walk through the boat in a minute, but yeah, we're just, yeah, crazy amount of content coming your way, so do not go anywhere. All right, you guys, we are totally gearing up right here. We're on Blake's boat right now. I got, uh, well, what you see on me is I got my, my weight belt. I'm already put it on, got a little skin. It's gonna be, water's not cold, cold. Um, and then I got GoPro mask, GoPro 11, and gloves, defog, fins, and then I got my Rob Allen 120 carbon fiber roller. So uh, we're gonna dive someplace local. I wanted to go ahead and do a quick intro right now before we got uh, got out on the boat. It's gonna be tight. Blake's getting after it. He's prepping. Lane's prepping. We gotta get some dinner tonight, boys. Yeah. And girls. <laughs> All right, we're daisy chaining a. We're doing this. Dingy, dingy on dingy. I was like, I don't dingy want, dingy, I don't want six grown men in my dinghy with. Yeah, that would gear. be tight. Look at all that gear, and look, look, this is just us and this little guy. We got the other one back there, so we're gonna. Uh, it's not too far of a run, so we're gonna get uh, get pretty close. And oh. yeah, you're burning up. Blake's burning up. Uh, let go of that, and then. Um, all right, let's rip. Let's rip and send it. That's where we're going. Right over there. We're gonna send it. I gotta get out of the water so Dan can get ready. I'll see you guys. Uh, go ahead and click this on, and I'll see you guys in the water. Welcome back underwater, everybody. Now I'm so excited to get. Um, for this adventure to get underway. Here we go. Here, Dylan. 
Once Dan gets in the water, he's using a totally different method than I am. Uh, he's diving these rock structures, and it's just a bunch of pilings that have been compiled together to kind of make this airport island. Um, and this it's completely surrounded by a structure like this, and it makes a great area for fish to hide, but you can't really have a giant spear gun. So he has a little shorty in there, and he's almost like hip firing uh, using this little gun. He's looking at a mangrove snapper right there. He's hoping that something comes in through one of the little tunnels, pokes his head out, and he'll get a shot. And uh, you don't want a big gun in here because, one, you can't maneuver it, and also when you shoot, um, the spear, you don't want it to get blasted into some of these concrete pillars. But he sees a little mangrove kind of peep his, peep his head right there. He took a shot, and it was just a little high. So he heads up to the surface, reloads, and resets. So you see these planes literally coming right over top of our heads and it kind of scares you because you almost think it's like a boat nearby. Um, I make a quick drop. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of this drop, but I shot a nice port. Sorry, Tim. Best, what happened? Best buddy ever. <laughs> I'm trying to get the shot on you. I'm trying to get the footage of you coming up. I was gonna shoot a mangrove, but there were small ones. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one though. Yeah, hold them underwater. So now that I was successful with that porgy, you can see exactly my tactic I started to use. Um, I dove down to the edge of all those pillars and then it kind of tapered down into the deep and it went into like almost 80, 90 feet um, to the sand. And I found out all the fish were kind of hanging around that edge. And once I found that out, I was like, okay, well, this is the tactic I'm gonna keep using over and over again. And hopefully it'll bring me some success. So exactly what I happened on the previous dive go down to the big rock structure and it kind of tapers down into some reef and then I'll end up starting to see some uh, sand I don't know if I saw it on this dive but you'll see it in a later clip uh, when I shoot at a mackerel uh, you'll see the same deal but you see I start heading towards the sand start getting into the deeper area and I find a nice school of mangrove and I'm not very picky and especially when it comes to snapper in this area I want to be cautious of ciguatera uh, which is the fish toxin and poison I've had it once before, but you see that sand edge? That's where all the fish seem to like hang out. Um, and like I said before on the Ciguatera deal, this water is warm, so it has a higher chance of having the toxin. Uh, but yeah, I did a nice long drop on that one, tapered out into the sand, and I keep doing this. Uh, I go up, reset, repeat, and do the same drop over and over again. Also, while I was on my way up, I went ahead and brained the fish so it didn't get away. And as I was heading up, I saw Dan just getting vortexed by these tarpon that were just cruising by. And that was really cool to see just that many tarpon in one area. And they're just cruising in like the midwater column. And this is why I dive because you never know what you're going to come across. Now, shortly after this, Dan decided to give his... Uh, the subnados a try and he decided to you know kind of test them out while spear fishing and these things are no joke if you've seen my other videos where i use the one on one arm this is just next level <laughs> yeah that's nuts i'm jealous i'm jealous that's insane this guy freaking flying around down there make it feel like i'm so unproductive but let me tell you let me ask you is this is this unproductive <laughs> all right oh man i'm getting tired how's it looking down there dan it's good i'm trying to keep up with jack yeah thankfully i've got a little bit of mechanical support for that department jack just said he's trying to keep up with you yeah <laughs> goes back and forth he's the one with fish on the board that was good. I, 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 yeah. In the beginning, I had a lineup on us. In the beginning, I had a lineup on a snapper. I should have taken a better shot on. And then I, uh, I, I didn't take some shots on some other ones when I had the subnado. So I'm kind of figuring stuff out. Kind of getting back in the groove here. It's good being out there with Jack, somebody who, uh, yeah, definitely a good diver, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. 
<laughs> we got fish on the stringer, baby. Not not huge size to them, but you know. Deli. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> now I have some fish on the stringer. It's not a ton, but it's definitely enough for a little meal for dinner. So. The pressure's off there. Now anything extra is gonna be a bonus and I'm gonna be extremely selective. And in this area where I'm diving, like I said, talking about the ciguatera poisoning, you have to be conscious of it and a safe, one of the safer fish you can get are Ciro mackerel. Um, and the ones over here are like medium size and they usually patrol and eat bait fish that are at the surface and mid water column rather than reef fish that are on the bottom so it's a less chance of them having the cigarette toxin in their blood but i do the same drop on this one head down once i hit the reef i start tapering off towards the sand i think i did a little bit of grunting or i made a little bit of noise and here comes a zero mackerel off in the sand i take the line up the shot and i shot and i think i shot a little high and i've been doing this thing where i when i shoot i kind of cock back my gun and i kind of shoot on the higher side so I need to be a little more rigid and a little more straight and with this uh, Rob Allen 120 roller where you point it is where you're gonna shoot the only time I would need to aim up a little bit is if I was um, taking a super long shot and that was not that long of a shot I should have just put him right on the money and slowly pulled the trigger and just watch the spear hit the fish down my barrel so that was uh, I'll chalk it up to a loss and I'll learn from my mistakes Yo. Shot and so we're getting it done. I got a little bit of food. We got a, a porgy and a mangrove. Always love the mangrove. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Um, yeah, we uh, we're getting it done. It's kind of a, kind of deep dive, and I have to go to like 80 to to get to the fish. That's wild. I was going to like 80 feet where like the rock meets the sand, and that rock it just goes all the way down to the sandy area. So got to go deep, and I kind of follow the rock down as you saw from the videos, but. We're getting a little cold down yeah, there. Yeah, it's too. getting chilly. I I'm can see your gills forming. You're a man yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting cold. Um, yeah, and I'm starting to cramp out, so we're taking a little break, getting some water. I don't know if we're going to dive again. Uh, we're going to go find Blake and uh, Lane. I think they right went now. around the, yeah, they went MIA. They're around the corner somewhere, so we're going to chase I got them battery and life them. left. We are, yeah. we are going diving. Yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan wants to get back in. I'm my like I'm like cramping out from diving, and I'm like, dude, I'm doing like 80 foot dives every yeah, time. Yeah, you're, you're doing real work. <laughs> hey, no, no. All right, so right now we're looking for Blake and Lane. Blake, our fearless local leader here, and this is all the airport. We're trying to figure out where the heck they went. They said they split up almost immediately. They couldn't have gone back the other way. They would have ran into Jack and I. Um. Yeah, Dylan didn't see them, so I mean, but way, I mean, we're already a ways of a swim through here. I saw him for a second on the edge of the jetty, so there he is. Jack just spotted them. We happen to have gone just far enough of where they are, right over here. I wonder if they got anything. No, no man left behind. Comment below if you think they got something. Yeah. No man they left didn't behind. Get Come to here. We're getting the jets. Oh my god. We're feeling the jets. There's just heat. Heat hit us hard. Yeah, we just had a blow dryer on us. Dude, like, almost blew my head off. Wow. If I didn't have this strap, this hat would have been gone. <laughs> Holy crap. Gotta die down now. Dude, that was crazy. This is how we how we do it on the uh this is how we do it on the boat. We got the fish here. Blake got himself a nice schoolmaster. And I got the porgy and the mang. And uh, I'm just gonna literally hang off the back and fillet this guy, just knock it off real quick. Make light work of it, as Lane may say. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. heavy work for these three fish, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to eat at least. Yeah. Blake, Blake's here on, you're on shark detail. That's it. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good job. Hey, yeah. do you just toss it? Yeah, oh yeah. And just do the nice little... That's it, dude. All right, we're good, dude. Nice. All right, did you get that on wax? Yes, yeah, on wax. All right. All right, so we're on the boat, and we are gonna do a um, we're gonna do a curry coconut milk mixture. Uh, so I went ahead and diced up ginger, and then some garlic and onions. And Blake's got that sizzling right now with some olive oil. 
And then uh, we're gonna throw in some diced potatoes. What, did I, what happened to those potatoes? Uh, I got them. Um, <laughs> they're hiding up on the. Oh, oh, he's got potatoes. And here's a little cool trick: when you're on the ocean, he's letting them soak in salt water. So they're gonna get a little extra flavor as well as clean them and get all the extra starch off of them. Uh, but what's the what's the recipe? We're gonna throw that so in. So it's there. a coconut coconut fish curry. Um, we've just got our basic. Um, natural or fresh ingredients. And then we're going to go in with, I wanted to do a curry paste, couldn't find one last second. Actually, we just didn't remember it. Uh, but I've got some, uh, I've got some other stuff we can hook it up with. I got some powder. Uh, I'm just trying to get it cleaned up for tomorrow and uh, we're just doing something quick so we can wake up super early and go on the next big adventure. To, uh... yeah, we got that nice little sunset over there. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do the like all these ingredients with some curry, with some coconut milk. I'll take you along the way, and then we're also gonna uh, drop the fish. We could dice them up, uh, the fish, but we're just gonna leave them whole, and they'll probably shred apart. That'll mean that they're cooked really, really nice. And what's that you got going on? So salt? Salt, yeah, if you, you ain't sauteing with salt, you ain't sauteing right. Coming from a true Cajun man. Right, that's true. And what's next step after that sizzles down? Honestly, once we once we get these uh, soft, I'm gonna start throwing in some ginger, and uh, we're about halfway through the softening process on the on the saute right now. I'm not gonna brown them too much, like I would for a gravy or something. <laughs> but we're gonna get the ginger in there, and then we're gonna start adding in coconut milk and chunks of fish, and we're just gonna let the fish just go ahead and cook right inside everything, because it's really good fish, white meat, um, and we're gonna let that soak and then start some rice. And uh, we got potatoes. Some, yeah, we're gonna throw the potatoes in there just for a little extra, because we we're gonna eat. we were kind of slacking on the fish today. I got one. All right, Jack got two. Yeah. That's that, it. Was it. that was it. That's it. That was, that was and it's not because not be, the fish just weren't around really. I mean, I saw a few uh, when I was diving, but literally every dive I had to go, I had to go between 70 and 80 feet to where I actually got fish. Yeah. So, and it got a little rough. Yeah, it got pretty rough. Yeah, we we rough. lost Blake for a minute. And uh, yeah, we, we found him. But yeah, the next adventure is going to be epic. Like, yeah. you guys are not going to want to miss that. The oh, no. Part we're two on this. It's going to be freaking wild. And we're going like, to go to some remote islands, like some serious remote islands. Yeah, you guys stay movie. tuned for that one. Movie. Yeah, but uh, we'll show you the aftermath. We pretty much talked you through how that's going to pan out. Going to just start adding all the fresh ingredients that we cooked up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you the process along the way. All right, so from this point, after the coconut milk, he put in some cumin, some black pack of pepper, not pack, <laughs> pecker, and now we got all the uh, curry going in. And that really gives it a big uh, zing, gives it that curry flavor. And then going to put a little lime, a little lemon juice, and then uh, let that sizzle up and cook with the fish. Just give it all its flavor. And it always, it's always to taste, dude. Like, there's yeah, no, there's yeah. no measuring. We're, yeah, we're going to be we're yeah, gonna you know. more into this. You know. You know how it is. Yeah, I think that's it. A what? Spice oh, oh yeah, we don't. We need more spice. Cayenne. That's this guy. Put some cayenne in there. Is that cayenne? Yeah, that's cayenne. Nice. All right, then uh, we're gonna let that boil we're down. About a gallon, if you need. And we'll put the uh, we'll put the fish in it kind of after after it starts boiling. Yep. Yeah, because that means everything's kind of meshed together, and then it'll cook into that fish, and then we'll have the aftermath. And look at that, dude. It's gonna be perfect little chunks. Let's dump, dump it, baby. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna cook that in there until all of it is cooked uh, all the way through, uh, and it's nice. It'll stay moist because uh, it's literally inside of a coconut liquid paste mm. and curry. Mm. And then you just have that on top of rice. Actually, I think I've had, I think I've had this with hogfish in Panama. Taste test time. All right, check this out. All right. Let me know what you think. It's go time. It's hot though. Yeah, don't burn yourself. You burn your palate right now, I'm gonna be mm. Give me a little taste. Give me a little taste. Dude, that's everybody good. Getting, everybody getting a little taste. That's freaking good, dude. You know the taste test is my favorite part. Yeah? It's Lane's time. Lane's time to shine, yeah. baby. Let's go. Let's go. Don't burn yourself, please. It's pretty hot. We got that rice coming up right now. I can't touch it. 
go time, dude. What do you think? I think it's big. Mm. It's nice, man. Mm. And that's nice, a big nice light, nice light sauce. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, get you some. It has a nice spice to it, too. It's like just a little, little spice. Let's check it out. Here, I'll burn your tongue for us. Now that's perfect. Dude, that, right? That? Oh, my God. Please that's freaking good. All right, well, we're going to... That, that's the main part, and we're just going to throw it on top of rice. Um, but, yeah, so that was... oh. That was a good first day. Um, we have some like multiple days coming at you guys, and I love doing stuff like this. Some freaking island hopping, sailboat chilling times. Uh, we didn't get into the fish extremely today, but we are gonna, you know, did some good diving, and I'm really stoked to show you guys what's next. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. I do this stuff every week, and like I said, stay tuned, and I will see you next week for another adventure. Later. Thank you.